Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add some camera movement to your static shot with Filmora 11. Okay, so it kind of fake camera movement that you want to add to your video after shooting your video in a, a tripod or stuff like that. Okay, so uh, I think it is very interesting to add camera movement to your video because you can make your video look a little bit more cinematic or stuff like that. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the pan and zoom tools in Filmora 11 to create camera movement, not the animation keyframe. Because this option is also available in Filmora 9 and Filmora 10. So if you want to create the same look for your video in older version of Filmora, you can also do the same. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. Okay, so here I am inside Filmora 11 and the first thing we need some static shot. Actually, I can import it from my computer. By the way, I'm going to use just some stock media. Okay, so the first one I'm going to use this shot of a man uh, sitting next to the river. Okay, so just drag and drop it onto the timeline. And this is just a static shot, no zoom in, no pan and no tilt, stuff like that we can play. Right. So first thing we want to select the clip on the timeline and then we want to move the playhead to the position at about 5 seconds. Okay, so remember this 5 seconds, I want to create the effect in 5 seconds. So I'm going to add a marker. To add a marker, you can press M on your keyboard to add a marker on the video. Okay, so the next thing, we want to select the clip again and then we can click this button, the crop tools. Okay, so at the crop tools, uh, this is a new window and we can select pan and zoom. Remember, we have crop, pan and zoom. So we have two tab right here. So we can select pan and zoom. And the next thing, we want to select the aspect ratio to 16 by 9, which is the, my project setting. Okay, uh, at this area, you can select 16 by 9. And now you have the start point and the end point. And we want to adjust the start rectangular and the end rectangular. The start will be at the, at the top and the end will be at the bottom. Okay, to create a two down from up to down. And if you want to create down up tilting effect, you can do in opposite way. Okay, so first thing we want to select the end point and then you want to make it a little bit bigger okay and put it right here at the frame you want to stop and the next thing you want to adjust the start point and I want to resize it to similar side of the end point and I'm going to move it up right here and just resize it to the side of the end point okay and move it up a little bit Okay, so this is the tilt up down camera movement. So we can play the video to preview. Nice, right? But the speed is very slow. Okay, so we can stop and go back to the timeline now. Just click OK. And now we need to cut the video at the marker position to speed up the animation. Okay, so just click here and then we can cut it right here. All right, so this is your fake camera movement tilting from top to down. Okay, so let's play it. Very nice, right? By the way, we want to delete the effect on the second clip here on the timeline and it is very easy. Just select the second clip here and then we can select the crop tools again. Then uh, we can click this button to swap the start and end point. Okay, and we can click here and now go back to here. Just click the crop button to keep this frame in your video. Okay, and then we can click OK. And now we finish the first fake camera movement. Okay, so let's play it from the beginning. Very nice, right? And the next camera movement is the pan from left to right or right to left. So we can use the same tools. So firstly, I want to lock this track and hide it first. And now I want to just uh, drag and drop another clip onto the timeline. And remember, we will also need to, to add a marker right here on my video. 
so that I can speed up the animation okay so just press M to add a marker and the next thing we want to use this prop tools again and then go to pan and zoom by the way if you want to use the preset it is available here so you can click here uh, to pan left to right and then you can adjust the start point and end point like so okay for example I can put my start point right here and then I'm going to select my end point and I'm going to select it right here so it will pan from the sky to the character okay so let's play it nice right but the speed is very slow and now we can go back to our timeline and split the clip at the marker position okay and we can just select the second clip again and then select the crop tools again and swap the end point and start point and then click the crop button here to keep this frame okay and then we can click ok and now we have just create a pan panning effect from left to right okay so let's play it very nice right and the last fake camera movement I want to create is the push in okay so it is very easy also let's click ok and now I'm going to lock this track and hide this track so I, I will not see it okay and now I'm going to use this clip as an example just drag and drop it onto a timeline and now we need to add a marker also maybe five seconds three seconds or four seconds it's up to you okay so I'm going to add at five seconds and the next thing use the crop tools and now we want to create a push in effect so we go to pan and zoom again and then we can adjust the end point right here so this is a start point maybe it can be from here and then I want to, to zoom in to this position so I'm going to just enlarge the end point uh, something will look like this so I'm going to zoom in this position okay and then we can click OK to go back to the timeline and we can split the clip at this position okay and select this clip and then select crop tools and then swap and then click the crop and then click OK and we have just create pushing fake camera movement okay it's very easy right so let's play it and we will stop here all right so that is how to use the pan and zoom option in Filmora 11 to create fake camera movement okay so it is very easy right i hope this tutorial is helpful for you if you have any more questions just let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye bye